Hi, welcome to WeddingPhotographyGig.com. I'm Ryan Oakley, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own banner for your website. And this ties into my Smug Mug tutorial, and I'm getting a lot of questions um, asking how I created my banner for my site. It's uh, really simple, and it's going to be easy to do for, um, for new photographers and uh, new website owners. Um, but this is the first video of a series. I'm going to do two more videos on banner and logo creation after this one. In this one, I'm going to show, show you how to simply do it yourself, uh, primarily using text. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to outsource your uh, logo and banner uh, for five bucks. And on the last one, I'm going to show you how, once you're ready to move into a professional logo and a professional banner, um, the tool that I would use um, to go and do that. All right, so let's get to it. The first thing that I do, and this is just me, there's a gazillion ways to create, <clears throat> excuse me, so there's a gazillion ways to create a banner. Lots of different tools online and uh, with different software. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of using tools that you've got at your disposal already and not going to buy uh, new ones if you don't need it. So in my case, I've got Photoshop Elements here. Some of you might have uh, Photoshop CS, and that's great. It's more powerful than Photoshop Elements, but for this, it works fine for me. There's, I think there's other Adobe products that are going to be good for logo creation and things like that, but not a lot of photographers have that. So I wanted to use something basic and simple. Um, there are other tools online that I'm going to show you uh, really quick in this video um, uh, what those are, and those are good banner creation tools as well. But I'm specifically want to show you how I did my Johnny Walker photography banner. So here we are on the Johnny Walker photography dot website. So I had previously uh, set up a tutorial that shows you how to create this site but one thing I didn't specifically tell you how to do was to create a banner and this is the banner down here it says Johnny Walker photography specializing in wedding photography in the Antarctic and when you're just starting out on your website a simple text banner that doesn't uh, uh, take focus off your photographs or the real links that you want people to get to works absolutely fine. Later on when you're, uh, when you're a little bit more established or you've got some cash flow and you want to spend some money, you can hire some professionals or uh, outsource banner and logo creation. So right now, we're going to create this one. So I created my Johnny Walker photography in photo Photoshop Elements. So the first thing that I do is I go File, New, Blank File, and I'll do my website banner as my name. Width and height. Uh, so thinking about the width of a website, the smallest laptops um, you know, can definitely handle 600 pixels wide. So that's kind of what you want to work backwards. You know, think about an iPad or think about a small laptop, and you don't want your banner to be wider than that. You want it to be smaller than that. So think of kind of the smallest device besides a uh, an iPhone um, or a smartphone. What you'd want your width to be. So six six hundred uh, pixels is just fine. Uh, height one hundred and fifteen pixels is what I use, keeping it keep it keeping it nice and small. Resolution I do seventy two pixels per inch and color mode I go RGB color and transparent for background contents which is really important so if I was going to change the color of my website background to pink I would want my text and the background behind my text and my banner to just be pink as well so transparent is important in a lot of uh, logo and and uh, web design creations I'm gonna hit OK and there you can see there's my banner I'm just gonna open it big so there that's the dimensions of my banner very happy with that and now what I want to do is I want to create my text box so I'm gonna go with two text box one for uh, the main title of my website and then another one for like a tagline so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a big box like that and if I start typing Johnny Walker photography you can see that uh, you know this is too small I'm not too sure about the font all that stuff so where I change that is up at the top here and I just happen to know because I've done this before 
that my main title text I want to be uh, a Garamond Premier Pro. <laughs> so what you can do before, like usually what I do is I just kind of skip through a bunch of these and just see what I like. So I, you know, if I'm a fun, happy guy, I might go with something um, that's you know fun and happy like this. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Never mind. So if I'm a so what I, what I would do is I just play around and here I'm just changing the size of my font so you can see it a little bit better so you can see that photography is kind of cut off there but um, I don't really like that font and just want to keep getting back in here and selecting as you're changing fonts make sure the font that you're in the text that you're changing is highlighted or it won't um, it won't change with it but so you can get uh, you can do all sorts of different things in here and I just happen to know that I'm gonna be using this one here so I like that font and I'm gonna go for size I'm gonna go 60 make it nice and big that looks pretty good I'm just gonna maybe extend it all the way might as well maybe I'll give myself a little bit of space if I need it all right try to I like to center things and click OK on that and then I'm gonna hit text again and I'm gonna create this tagline text here and that tagline text says specializing in wedding photography in the Antarctic since 2002 so I'm typing here but you can't see anything because it assumes I've got big big text so I've got to go ahead and make that a whole bunch smaller for it to show up uh, let's see there we go so now that's showing up and I want this to be a different font so I'm gonna go ahead and choose courier new courier new is right there and 18 point just happens to be the font that I want so you can tell it's kind of hard to read with this checkerboard background the checkerboard background is just telling me that it's a transparent background so um, this might be something you want to test you know save it and get it up on your site and see how it looks and if it doesn't look right then go back to the drawing board and try something different okay so I'm happy with uh, with this banner right now and I want to see what it's gonna look like on my site so the next step is to first of all I would just save this because if you save it in a PSD I'm gonna be able to change my text later if I if I uh, if I don't then um, I might not be it might flatten out this file and I won't be able to change the text so I do that first I just hit a hit save make sure I'm saving it as a PSD and then I'm gonna go save for web and I'm gonna make sure that I've got PNG 24 and transparency selected all my uh, the size of the banner should be correct and that's all good so now I can just go OK and save it again as a PNG so that's perfect now if you're in the middle of building your smug mug site through my tutorial videos go ahead and click on this video box and it'll take you right back to step 4b where you can complete the tutorial and I show you how to get your banner up on your smug mug site alright thanks for watching and if you have any questions please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them thanks